Madison Kimry, North Carolina Youth Rocks. Wow, I just got 10 times more nervous. Okay. <laughs> it's really an honor for me to speak today here in my own hometown, but the reason I'm here today is because we young people have a serious leadership problem here in North Carolina. We have leaders here in our state who have shown that not only do they want to reduce the amount of participation by young people in our government, they also want to dismiss and belittle our voices. Part of the new voter ID law that was passed by the North Carolina General Assembly and signed by Governor Pat McCrory eliminated the ability of 16 and 17 year olds to pre-register to vote. The legislation granting teenagers this ability passed with overwhelming bipartisan support in 2010. Teenagers were encouraged to pre-register through programs in their high schools and when they went to the DMV to get a driver's license. The elimination of pre-registration was one of the first parts of the new 56-page voting law to go into effect. The ability of 16 and 17-year-olds to pre-register and automatically be added to the voter rolls when they turned 18 ended on September 1st. For a lot of kids, this is the start of the school year, so ask yourselves, young people, why? Why did they want to take away our ability to pre-register so quickly? When pre-registration was debated in the North Carolina Senate, Senator Rucho of Mecklenburg County said pre-registration was confusing to teenagers. <laughs> he said his own son was confused as to when he was supposed to vote. This senator, who has served over seven terms, said he had to write a letter to the Board of Elections to clarify at what age his son was supposed to vote. Before Governor Pat McCrory signed the bill, he was asked about the elimination of pre-registration, and his answer was he hadn't read that part of the bill. After signing the bill, Governor McCrory's office issued a statement calling pre-registration a bureaucratic burden. I wanted to meet with our governor to discuss pre-registration, but he called my request to meet with him ridiculous and called me a prop for liberal groups. This is not leadership. The young people of North Carolina deserve better. I am not a prop. I am part of the new generation of suffragettes. <laughs> and I will not stand silent while laws are passed to reduce the amount of voter turnout by young people in my home state. Listen to these words from our state song. Hurrah, hurrah, the good old North State and her daughters, the queen of the forest resembling, so graceful, so constant, yet the gentlest breath trembling, and true light wood at heart, let the match be applied them, oh how they kindle and flame, oh none know but who've tried them. Well the match has been lit and my fire burns bright. I'm going to do everything I can to get the opportunity for North Carolina's teenagers to pre-register back by the time I turn 16 in four years. But I can't do this alone. I need other young people to contact their lawmakers. I need other young people to talk to their friends and family about the issue. I need the adults who can vote to ask their elected representatives and candidates seeking office how they plan to encourage young people to take an active part in our democracy. Young people, our state needs you. Our nation needs you. Pay attention. Find the issues that are important to you and take action. We are the future of North Carolina, and we deserve leadership that recognizes North Carolina's future and respects our ideas and our voices. The future of our state and our nation deserves no less than for us not to give up. Let's get out there and work. Forward together? Not one step back. Thank you.